Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started rolling out their latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 for the month of July 2022. And this update started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 21st of July. And um, the optional updates roll out near the end of every month for uh, the Windows operating system. Now, um, this uh, latest update, 5015882, has numerous bug fixes. It has also three new minor add-ons and features. Um, there are upgrade options, new upgrade options, uh, explorer crash fixes, and also there are improvements to the ROPS performance in Windows 11. Now, um, as always, if you are interested to check if you have the update, uh, just head to Windows Update and the C release bug fix updates are optional updates. So you don't have to install the update. And um, if you don't decide to install the update, most of these improvements, add-ons and fixes will be carried over into next month, August 2022's Patch Tuesday update. And that's the second Tuesday of next month, August. And I always suggest though, with these optional bug fix updates, only install them if you are currently having any issues um, with your operating system else, just ignore the update and leave it alone. And if you are interested, it will be listed under update history once your device is restarted. Uh, cumulative update for Windows 11 5015882. You can click on learn more, which will take you to the release notes. Now, as mentioned, uh, there are uh, three new minor add-ons. And just to mention those quickly, um, you now have the option to receive urgent notifications when focused assist is on. And that's obviously through your notifications in Windows 11. And um, it's like a do not disturb mode that hides notifications. So basically that's a notification bypass and that's a new add-on uh, in Windows 11. You also have the option to update to a newer Windows 11 version after the update has been applied um, at the very first startup of Windows uh, if your device is eligible. So that's the OOBE out-of-box experience, which means uh, you can now upgrade to Windows 11 a newer version of Windows 11 at the uh, very first startup after this update has been applied. And the third and final new add-on and improvement, um, there's a functionality that's been restored for Windows Autopilot deployment scenarios that are affected by the security mitigation for hardware reuse. Now, just to mention some of the other uh, key highlights regarding uh, the bug fixes, uh, KB5015882, um, addresses an issue that causes File Explorer uh, to stop working when you use the play and pause keyboard buttons on certain devices. So the File Explorer uh, um, on those devices um, was failing um, uh, to uh, launch and was stopping to work when using a play and pause keyboard buttons. That's been addressed. And um, uh, there's an issue that caused the File Explorer uh, to stop working when uh, there was uh, when users were using the start menus context menu uh, that's when an X on the keyboard and an external monitor is connected to your device so that's the right click context menu basically on the start menu that was failing uh, to work when um, a, a, an external monitor was connected to certain devices and then a fix that I'm quite happy to see roll out um, there was an issue that displayed a blank window um, that you cannot close when you hover over the search icon on the taskbar. And I actually personally experienced this, this issue myself. And sometimes when you hovered over the search icon and you moved away, there would be a blank window here. And the only way I could remove it was to actually restart my device. And that would periodically just, you know, come back as a bug. And now Microsoft says that issue has been addressed. And then they've also addressed an issue uh, that prevents certain troubleshooter troubleshooting tools from opening and that's the windows troubleshooting tools that's built into the windows 11 operating system now um, as mentioned this is a non-security update and uh, just to mention one or two other um, bug fixes if you are interested um, about three or four just to mention quickly they've improved the re reliability of um, a push button reset after an os upgrade um, addressed an issue that might cause windows to stop working when you enable windows defender application control with the intelligent security graph feature when that is turned on. And uh, then um, uh, just the uh, final one here, reduce, uh, they've also reduced the overhead of resource contention in high input and or output operations per, se per second. That's the ROPS that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And that's in uh, different scenarios that have many threads 
contending on a single file. So that issue for the ROPS uh, performance issue has been addressed. And if you have decided to apply the update, um, the uh, OS build now for Windows 11 version 21H2, which is the latest stable version, will be bumped up to 22,000.832. So that's it for KB5015882 this month, uh, Windows 11's um, optional bug fix C release update that is now starting to roll out. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.